Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to my channel, Redline Moss. Time to turn it back in. Here's an updated video on installing the chasing ambient lights. So you can see we have the low profile fuse already two 10 uh, amp fuses with the extension if you need it. And when you connect this, you can connect two strips to it. You got the footwell lights right here, and then you have eight strips, um, which is long enough to install on any vehicle. So it's custom packaging on my side. Um, then we have the door handle lights, which is new. We're gonna use this for the door handle lights and also for the door storage lights right there. We have five controllers. This is a main controller. It goes under the steering wheel area, connected with the low profile fuse. We have uh, left front, which is uh, driver's side, passenger behind the driver's side. And then we have rear right door and then the right front, which is gonna be in the right front door. And we also have rear, uh, I mean right front as well. It's gonna be for the center console. If it applies to your vehicle, you can in install this sub controller um, with the, for the center console where the cup holders are. And this is for the foil, but I'm usually, I'm just gonna usually use uh, zip ties to um, tie up the foil so it doesn't ever drop back down. And uh, yeah, so we're just gonna use these power cables, one of the power cables for the center console strips and tap the red into with the fuse. So they'll get power basically from under the ACC fuse. And just tap it in there basically with the red and I'm gonna tap in black with the black right here. So they'll get, so the main controller and this center console so it's gonna be hidden nearly over here where the main control is going to be both going to get power from the low profile fuse basically all right so under the steering wheel literally just pull this tab here here and then it comes right off on the side, side as well and plug the, the plugs here so you can put this on the side this is what we're going to use for ground a 10 millimeter bolt and we're gonna use this if you have the spot filled up if not i use a spare fuse on this side for um anything i you know for accessories basically on this fuse bottom right unless if you don't have space and whatnot then this is the fuse uh, the 10 under the 7.5 right there the 10 under the 7.5 you could use that as well so I'm just gonna tap into that fuse over there. All right, and I'm gonna connect the black wire to the ground right there. Let the main controller sit here, which you guys could do, because I can't hold the camera and make videos for you guys. Um, I'll show you guys over here, where the center light's gonna go at. All right, I'm removing this panel. Go ahead and use the pry tool that's on my website as well. I'm just kind of loosen it up comes right off comes right off put it on the side and there's this tab right here you gotta come off as well tab comes off and now we can actually pull this piece like this. Careful not to bend it all the way, then you're gonna crack it. You don't do that. Um, so I usually reach out to the other side and push the panel up on the other side to push out one LED strip and also two pieces of the footwell light. So when you open the footwell foot up, foot lights, there's two long. You, you'll see a difference um, in the which footwell lights. The close, shortest one is gonna be for the driver. The second shortest is gonna be for the passenger behind the driver. The third shortest is gonna be for, um, sorry, shortest, very short driver. Second short is gonna be for the right side passenger. And then the third short is gonna be here behind the driver. And the longest one is gonna be going all the way across and behind to the uh, passenger, the rear passenger area on the right side. So we're gonna run the wires, hide the, basically hide the wires under these panels and uh, it'll be connected. I usually connect it with, um, with the sub controller here. So this way I can hide the two LED strip connections and uh, the footwell lights connection. 
All the wires will be hidden under there uh, behind that. So the only wire that's going to be running basically is just like the red wire and a, and a black wire going across and just hiding up behind that area. So everything is well hidden that way. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Um, the main controller, we're just going to connect the two LED strips to it and that's it. Uh, feel free to uh, scan the QR code to download the app and uh, use the app to control everything basically. And you go from there. So here you can see the strip that I pushed out this way and then the photo lights. So I marked mine by, you know, twisting this one a little bit. So I know this is a very long side and it's going to be going all the way back. So I just pull a little bit and then put this one. And this one's going obviously back here. Just push it down. And it's gonna be going around. Just make sure that it's actually put into the right spot, which is gonna go behind the railing. All right. Um, this one, I usually pull down this piece right here, and I hide the wire right there. So I'll pull this wire up here and push the football lights through here and then I'll just stick it there and then line up the tabs push it back up so this way the football light will be done and then pull this out um, obviously you can see this is a longer wire one and it can come up and I'm going to connect it with the tab up here and I'll show you guys how I'm going to cut this one all right so you guys don't mess up the strips because most of you guys cut so bad where the strip doesn't work and then you guys email me for a replacement so i'll show you guys again this video so you guys don't mess it up um let's uh, work on i'm just gonna keep the piece right here for now so it's out of my way i'll do the football lights first all right so let's say you want to cut the strip so you see these small seams in the bottom not the bumpy part but the spots that like sinks in you gotta cut that part but you gotta do it when while the car is off so make sure everything is disconnected or off basically so see these spots right here these creaves seams whatever you just cut exactly that spot quickly and that's it that should that should do it so literally i'll go into this section right here basically and that line's right there so i'm going to cut that spot right there the same thing on the other side and then push this panel back in all right moving this panel just pull the tabs from the bottom comes off you don't have to unplug or anything but removing this side is very fragile this can crack so make sure to put a little bit of uh use a pry tool here and then use the rest of the pry tool here as well it pries right out um, I had right here this section. See that if you do it right in the center, you loosen that up a little bit and then get that. Just kind of hold that side out while you um, twist this outwards. It should the tab should get loosened up and open up. So hold this piece outwards. The tabs are loose now. The tab and get the bottom. There you go. So just like that. And then this one comes off easily as well. Just a few tabs. And then usually I run my wire from this bottom corner right here. Which I'll show you real quick. One section. Right there. And it comes out this way from this corner. Then I run the hide the wire here. And run the strip across like that. So push this piece in to hold it. And then I push in the other piece. Then I use a pry tool just to kind of clean up the area. So when the work is uh, pretty much the center console and the dash is done, put the panels back in 
and uh, just to test it out, we had the battery disconnected. So now we connected the battery again, the negative part, turn the accessories on. Voila, we got that working. Perfect. Oop. And the bottom, it works good. We're good to go. Now we're going to be doing the doors. This is it. Four doors to go. I'll record one door on how to remove the door. And because I don't want to record a two hour video, I'll, remo I'll show you guys how to remove that one door basically. Same process for the rest. And um, then for the other doors, I will show you the diagram part only so you'll know which, what to connect for the diagrams, all right? Uh, removing, what you want to start off is by removing this panel here. Um, this part right there. I was just literally just push into that piece over there and use that one of the pry tool set that's off of my website. You can find the, uh, the ambient lights on my website as well. There's three different kits that I have. As, as you can push in there and then you can use a second one, the second hand, you can kind of reach into here. There's three tabs here, so that should get released. So that gets released, all right? And then you can actually pry up and slide outwards towards you. So if there's a hook right there, you don't want to slide up like that. Um, yeah, that's it. Press the unlock button. Make sure doors are unlocked. And then what you want to do is unplug these wires. Two plugs. I usually unplug this one first. Right here, push tab. Open this up and open this one up. And then you just have uh, Phillips to remove right here. Once that's removed, I'll show you guys after that. So when you remove the back door, right, it's a little easier. There's only, I think, one tab or two. It's easier. Remove the Phillips from in there. For the back door, you want to remove this piece first so you don't drop it or break it or whatnot. You want to remove this piece first before you take the door off. For the door off, reach into this section right here just like that you see that just like that and pull then you can pull all around and it comes off and for the front door i usually pull in over here and you pull like so and don't yank it all the way because the touring models have the two buttons right here presets um also the light in the bottom so you can disconnect the wires behind it but again just like that, it comes off. Now, there's a plug here for the trunk. When you put this back on, you make sure you connect this plug again, all right? Don't forget to plug that in. And that should do it. We have one green tab that pulled out. And buddy had the, my buddy had one of the styles right there. Um, off of my website door courtesy lights they're wireless so yeah that's that we'll put the door on the side that's done for a door handle spot is uh we, i make a hole over here literally right in the center i make a hole right in the center for the door handle area um for the diagram for the door driver side is um where is it? Get focused on the wires for you guys. Black with black and the red with the brown on top or tan, whatever you want to call it. They're next to each other. Um, that that would uh, just make sure you push it all the way in so it actually gets a solid touch, uh, solid connection. And uh, that would do it for the uh, diagram for that side. And I just literally drill a hole here for the door storage light. And that would connect everything there um yeah pretty much it fam so when you get the door back on you just line up this piece right here then the rest lines up automatically all right so for the for the strip i just use the pry tool to push it in there it, it evens out perfectly like that and uh put the screw back in this uh this uh, trunk button is uh connected and then uh, basically everything is connected to the sub controller and one more thing for the sub controller 
whenever you guys connect it, some people say, oh, I don't have power or it's nothing is not turning on. I have a defect. You don't have a defect. Everything is tested before you get, before this, this is shipped out to you. All right. Everything is tested. So make sure you just, if let's say it's not working, just unplug it and plug it back in. Maybe you got a loose connection. So just when you connect it, just snug it in a little bit uh, with all these connections. So make sure it's solid. And also make sure these pins are all the way in as well. So then you're sure the fact that it's gonna be a solid connection. So if you wanna test it out, you can just hit the accessories on and then uh, this would turn on basically. So we're good to go on this one and just connect this plug in connect this one in and just slide that piece in on the hook line up the tabs it's in and we're good to go with this door and we'll move on to the next one all right this is a diagram for the rear uh the rear door behind the driver um so it's black with black and the red is with the green They're both on top layer top portion black with black red with green for the 10 gen accord 2018 to 2022 recording yeah so on this side the thick wires basically i have a really small flathead so i would push that in there and it kind of make a little bit space same thing with the, the yellow one. So this is a diagram, black on black, red with yellow for the uh, rear right door, rear right. And uh, basically this will go in a lot easier then. So you got red with, I mean a black with black, you got red with yellow, but you don't want to do the same time because you might blow a fuse. Uh, it's a pro tip for you guys. If you're located in New York, um, you know, just DM me on Instagram at RedlineMaz.official for an install if you need it. Uh, and then, as you can see, we'll go with the red one, just like that. It, it, it'll go in easily once you make a little bit of space for it. And that should do it. See if you could push in a little bit more. Yep, like I said, we hit the... We hit the end of it, so we're good to go on that. We'll just use a little bit of uh, electrical tape around it so it stays there, and that's the diagram for this door. So everything else is working, but this thing was not on, so here we go. It was just like, it was very like loose here, so it wasn't really working, but sometimes you just have to press it a little bit, and then it works, and then after that, you're good to go. Because all the other of these chips turned on, so that's what I'm telling you guys. Give it a little snug. Um, it's not a defect or anything like that. You just gotta be. You just gotta make sure your connections are solid. So that side's fixed now. We're good to go. And I'm gonna show you the app, how to change the animation and stuff like that. So, app. If you turn this off, right? So you can. Uh, that means the full color is the full with lights and the door handle and the storage lights, basically. So you can change your strip color. So you have a two-tone going on now. So if you turn it back on, obviously now you can change everything at once, synced. But if this uh, symphony would turn off the strips on top, and now you can change the, the color for the footwell lights and the storage and the door handle lights. As you can see, we'll put a red, uh, more like orange right now, make it red. There you go, now it's red. Footwell lights are red, the door storage is red. Just like that, two-tone. But if you have both on, Everything will be synced. If you have solid colors, you can add more to in the bottom as well. Um, if you go to mode, you have a bunch of modes here. But if you press the, the favorite one right here, you will have access to all types of modes, like crazy amounts. So enjoy the week of going through them. Um, there's like a candlelight, fireworks. And then you have like starry sky, you know, just white dots like pulling them left and right whatever um yes this is a romantic scenery it actually is romantic i'm not gonna lie <laughs> but uh yeah you got disco and stuff going on there you got a lot of stuff bunch of stuff um 
So for now, we'll keep it on solid red, basically, because that's what he wants from the interior. Brightness, this is the lowest brightness, as you can see. And this is like the bright, bright. Lights up the whole interior, basically. So if you want it subtle, keep it literally low key on, I don't know, if you want it to be subtle. Yeah, anywhere on um, this area is good. If you want it subtle, nice, not too bright. But if you go to the settings, and let's say you the default animation, it usually goes around in a whole circle. Um, if you want to change that, you hit the settings, you would hit, uh, where is it? About, and then you would hit factory settings. And then you would hit set the color of the flowing effect. So here, if you hit the use transitional illusion colors, if you turn that on and apply, the lights will flash. That means it's set. So when they start the car, you're gonna have a rainbow effect startup. If you don't want that, you can shut it off. And let's say you want a uh, red startup. I assume you want a red startup instead of the white. Yeah. So default is a white startup. So since the red accent, so we're gonna change these colors, put them to zero, keep the red. So at startup, he's gonna have a red start animation. And once the animation is stopped, it's gonna go to his red color default, like solid color as is right now. we we'll apply, so that's sent. Uh, pretty straightforward. Set the color of the reflow effect. We don't need that one. Uh, set the direction. Set the direction of the flowing effect. Now these are the directions of the flowing effect. You want to shut off uh, the symmetry, uh, asymmetry, whatever it's called. Uh, symmetric would give the animation as if turn on the animation would go all the way from the middle to the back. Instead of asymmetric would go around in a full circle. That's default. And uh, so we put it on symmetric now. And uh, backflow enabling is pretty much if you want, once the animation is done, if you want like a color to go backflowing to complete the whole circle, if not. But uh, it's whatever, it's up to you how fast you want the animation to be finished and whatnot. So that's gonna keep it, uh, we're gonna keep no backflow and apply, we're good to go. Classical mode is a little different animation, open and close. Uh, you can try that as yourself. Now as you know what to do in settings. And the rest, you just leave it as is, and we're good to go. And if you do the, the reflow effect, you would go into here and change the color that you want it to come back, basically. And uh, we're done. So you can shut out the lights, and you can turn them back on on the app. And uh, I'm gonna shut this off now. And we'll show you the startup. So you can go ahead and shut off the car. All right, and then turn it, turn it back on. As you can see, the back door is also going as well. Uh, you will see both back doors go just like that. And the back door is done as well. See, so quicker animation with the red animation that we chose and it's at its default already on the red. So that's that. Again, links for the, the lights, just custom steering wheel, links in uh, the description of the video. DM me on Instagram to make your custom steering wheel. Anything like that, fam, just questions. I, don't, I got the answers for you guys. And that's it, fam. High quality stuff. I got the discount code and you got installation video. It does not get better than this. So, and you got the best top notch customer service support. So, make sure you guys subscribe. Hit the like button, comment below if you got it for yours already. And this does fit on any vehicle out there because the strips that I made are long to fit any vehicle, trucks, SUVs, CRVs, Tacoma, whatever, GMC, you name it. If you got seams, you can do it. And you can put these around your subwoofers and stuff like that too, in the trunk as well, things like that, so it could be done. So that's it until next time. Peace out.